this moment in time, there is, seems to be a huge conflict or what is deemed to be a clash of civilizations when in fact no such thing actually exists. This paranoia, this sort of scaremongering that is appearing more and more in the media and more even now in films, it needs to be understood that it is exactly that, something that is fictitious and that does not actually exist. It all started, I guess, after 9-11, when many of my non-Muslim colleagues kept asking me, you know, what is the relationship between Islam and terrorism and blowing up the Twin Towers? So after explaining so many times the true nature of what Islam teaches, we decided to come together, organize ourselves as a community and um, teach Islam in its authentic manner, hence challenging stereotypes removing misconceptions. IDC is the first and only full-time organization in Islamic awareness in the whole Northeast. The idea of IDC as an organization was to organize the local community to um, come together and challenge the stereotype, remove misconceptions, and teach authentic Grow Islam. From literally being a, a one-man band to now being 50 volunteers on the project, 50 members, all from diverse backgrounds, Muslim, non-Muslim, different ethnicities, um, men, women, young people. We have so many different people from different backgrounds. And IDC Northeast is not just a Newcastle project, it became a Northeast project. Um, there's a lot of negativity um, about Muslims today, especially in the media. And we just need to dissolve the, the image that we have of Muslims. Um, IDC are very good at doing that, uh, breaking through, holding events, especially targeted for non-Muslims. IDC is about promoting a modern and balanced understanding of Islam, which is uh, suitable for, for people living in Britain in the 21st century. We're not about um, converting people. We're not about um, forcing theological concepts down people's throats. No, we're there to clarify misconceptions and challenge stereotypes. And uh, I think we've done a pretty good job so far and I uh, hope we'll continue. I mean, I'm grateful to work as part of IDC, to be honest with you. IDC for me, I, I find it's the only, only organization in the Northeast that is out there proactively clarifying and challenging the target audience for IDC Northeast Islam. is the non-Muslim community, the wider audience, the wider society, to give them the message of Islam, to show them what Islam really truly means, not only in theology, not only in text, but in practice, given that humanistic element to what Islam actually stands for, and how Islam positively contributes to not only the Northeast community, but Britain at large. IDC organises seminars, lectures, IDC is out there in the street engaging with people face to face, telling them the, uh, the, the true message of Islam. IDC oh, to show children that Islam isn't something to be feared, Islam is part of British society just as much as any denomination. Teaching the um, public sector workers and non-Muslim professionals from a very neutral viewpoint of what Islam is and more, more importantly what Islam is not. We talk about things like um, Islam and culture. What is the difference between Islam and culture? What is the difference between Islam and a Muslim? Um, very basic principles, teachings, beliefs, practices about Islam and the Muslims. And the most important thing is we have um, a safe space which is created for people to ask the questions that they've always wanted to ask about Islam and the Muslims. You know, it's been brilliant, the feedback that we've had from over 1,000 people who we've trained up in um, the IDC Northeast Islam course. What was particularly uh, helpful was talking about some of the myths, some of the misunderstandings of Islam uh, and Muslims in general. And that's given me the confidence to be able to tackle people when I hear them talking about that. I would really recommend to uh, anybody involved in public life, or anybody involved in delivering services, uh, and anybody who is involved in understanding how communities work and making communities work better together. 
and it's been really valuable. Really impressed with what I've learned today. Um, the manner in which it was delivered was funny, it was warm, um, and it's given me sort of really good insight. We forge links with the local media, so when anything does come in the in the mainstream media, when anything does relate to Islam and the Muslims, then IDC has trained individuals who can work with the media in clarifying the true concept or the true understanding of what Islam stands for on such is issues. So an events team was organised to open public events, to organise public events, organise open days, so that um, the non-Muslim community, those who had doubts, those who had issues with Islam and Muslims, could come in a safe space and listen to what the Muslims had to say firsthand about topical issues like 9-11, like July the 7th, like extremism. IDC are very good at doing that, uh, breaking through, holding events, especially targeted for non-Muslims, to get them through the door, to interact with Muslims face to face, ask questions, you know, keep it all open, um, and just to remove the fear and to realise that yes, we do have Muslim neighbours and it's all right, they're okay. You know, we're all, we're all okay. Um, we have our certain dress codes, we have our certain ways of living, you know, we have a rule book to follow. But at the end of the day, we're all human and it's very important that we're able to, you know, communicate with the non-Muslims and vice versa and all just have a, you know, a nice, peaceful life. IDC Northeast has its own New Muslim Support Centre or New Muslim Support Project. The purpose of this is to allow the new Muslim to understand the true Islam, the authentic Islam, so that they won't get misled by other people or other groups and that they really do get grounded in the true knowledge of what Islam teaches, the true spirit of what Islam teaches. <laughs> I bear witness that there is one true God. Repeat after me. I bear witness that there is only one true God. And I bear witness that the Prophet Muhammad is his messenger. No, no one Arabic here. A shadow Allah. Shadow Allah. Ilaha. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Anna. Muhammad.